Hello viewers, I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Engineering Projects. In this tutorial, we will learn how to download and install Thony IDE for Raspberry Pi Pico programming. To download the installation setup for Thony IDE, open your browser and type thony.org. This is the official website of Thony. So here you can see that we have different download versions available for different operating systems. Click on Windows to download this setup. And once this setup is downloaded successfully, double click on the executable file. Click on install for me only, that is the recommended one. Press next. Accept the agreement and then press next choose the destination location for installing the Thony IDE if you want to create a desktop icon for the IDE then check the option and then press next and install the setup this will take some time Now the IDE is installed successfully, press finish. Now open the IDE from the desktop icon. Select the language that is English and then continue. Once Thony is successfully installed in your system, next task is downloading and adding the MicroPython to your Raspberry Pi Pico board. For that, go to the official website of Raspberry Pi and then in MicroPython section, we have this MicroPython UF2 file. Download the file. Now this, uh, we have to upload this file into Raspberry Pi development board. For that, press the boot select button from Raspberry Pi Pico board and then connect the board to your system via USB cable. Now after successfully connecting, you should see this RPI RP2 volume in your system. Now drag and drop this file in RPI RP2 volume. This will reboot your Raspberry Pi board. Now go to Thony. Next task is selecting the interpreter. Go to run and then select interpreter. Here select MicroPython for Raspberry Pi Pico. Next click on install or update firmware. Then again install. Make sure that your system is connected to internet. Wait until the installation is done. Now you can see the installation is done. Now close the tab. So now the MicroPython firmware for Raspberry Pi Pico board has been installed successfully. Go to View and then Files. In the File section, at the end, we can see this Raspberry Pi Pico, which means the Raspberry Pi firmware is installed successfully. And in the shell section, we can also see this MicroPython version for Raspberry Pi Pico board. For testing purpose, type some command, like we are printing a message. And press enter so now you can see the command is exec executed successfully similarly we can print more messages and execute more commands again press enter so this concludes the tutorial we hope you found this of some help and also hope to see you soon with a new tutorial on raspberry pi pico till then goodbye